What's up guys, Mike at Rapid Purple here to talk to you all today about your wireless internet speeds. So a long time ago, I did a video um, intended specifically to help people that were on Optum Online, such as myself, to get the most out of their Optum Online connections and to really sometimes almost double their internet speeds when using a wireless connection. The problem was that I made that video a very, very, very long time ago and what I wanted to be a very short and to the point video to really help people turned into a very, very, very long 20 minute monologue. And over the past year and a half that that video has been up, thousands of people have watched it. And um, I'd like to hope that it helped a lot of different people. But a lot of people also got fairly annoyed at it. In do right, it's very long and it's annoying. So I wanted to go ahead and put together a video that A, explain to you guys the problem and the solution as quickly as possible, and B, I wanted to actually show you myself using this solution. Me being on the wrong setting and me going to the right setting and that making the world of a difference when it comes to my internet download speeds. Now, before we get any further into the video, if the problems that you're having you are experiencing on a wired connection, as in you have the router, you took the wire from the router, you plugged it into your computer, and that is giving you a very, very, very slow download speed. You may have an issue with the configs on your router. Get rid of that, plug in directly to the modem. If you still have a problem, you have other issues. This video is not gonna help you. However, if you're noticing that specifically when you are on your Wi-Fi connection and you are experiencing extremely slow download or upload or both, chances are we're gonna be able to help you out by the end of this video. But first, before we get to actually showing things, let's understand what the problem is. The solution here is going to apply to literally any internet connection, well, any wireless internet connection on any provider, at least one where you have the capability to change some settings either on the router or somewhere else. The preliminary issue with wireless, or at least the 2.4 gigahertz network, is that we are limited to about 11 different channels. And there is a ton of different people, at least in a metropolitan city, there's also a lot of different devices per person. So think about it. The average person is going to have probably a laptop, a tablet, a cell phone, and maybe a desktop computer even. Maybe all four of those things are using wireless. And let's say that there is 2.5 people per household. That's a lot of devices that are all on wireless, that are all on some specific channel. And this is where the whole issue with wireless lies. We have all of these different devices, all trying to make use of only 11 channels, and those channels tend to overlap with each other as well. So here's how we fix things. Well, how we fix things is by making sure that we are on the least congested channel we could possibly pick. Optum Online's default routers that they give out uh, if you purchase it through them or if you are a business member and they automatically give it out to you for free are generally set on either an auto setting where it tries to auto determine the best and optimal channel for it to be on and usually does not succeed in doing that or they are locked to a specific channel. Over the course of the past couple of months there has been cases of people um, with the right router configurations from Optimum that have been able to successfully go and use their new online portal where they can go ahead and update their router settings and manually change the channel there. Try it out. Log into Optimum. Go onto your router settings. Go to the, in the internet tab. You know, click on down to your router settings. That page loads up for you and you are able in there to change the channel. You're good to go here. You're good to go. Keep watching. If unfortunately you don't have that capability, give Optimum a call, double check with them, see if this is maybe not possible on the configuration of hardware that you have with them. And if it's not, I highly recommend you go out, spend 50 bucks and buy yourself a router. 50 bucks will get you a decent router. For home use, you will be on your way. Next up is picking the right channel. Now, there's only 11 channels. There's two ends of the spectrum here and some stuff in the middle. The most popular channels that the majority of people are told to be on is 1, 6, and 11. Really because those are the areas where channels do not overlap with each other. The problem is that everybody's told to be on 1, 6, and 11. All of the wireless networks that are offered by places like Cablevision, right, Optimum Wi-Fi, 
I'm sorry, it's not Cablevision now, and it's a new company, but Optimum Wi-Fi, for example, right? Uh, Time Warner Wi-Fi. All of these different things are generally on channels 1, 6, and 11, and they have a ton of people sitting on them. Most routers, when you get them and plug them in, are defaulted to 1, 6, or 11. So really, those become very, very, very congested networks. Pick. Easiest way is to just randomly pick. Set it to one, run a speed test, see what your speeds are. Set it to another, run a speed test, see what things are. You'll eventually find the optimal configuration. Or you can utilize a tool. So I'm going to show you a quick little video towards the end of this where I utilize a very simple tool. Honestly, the first one that I found on Google when I Googled Wi-Fi Analyzer Free Windows. And it let me see what all the different channels are and what all the different signal strengths are on those channels. And I'm able to go ahead and show you why I picked a very specific channel and why going to that channel made my download speeds almost double like that. So I wanted to go ahead and show everybody that this is an actual concept that works and something that I've actually done myself, not just something that I'm pulling out of thin air or just doing for the hell of YouTube views. So here I have acrylic Wi-Fi home analyzer, which honestly was the first tool that I found when I went to Google and typed in free Wi-Fi analyzer Windows 10 download. This is what I got. I downloaded and it does the job. So what we're looking at here is we're seeing all of the different wireless networks that uh, my computer is able to pick up and as such all the different networks that are within my current range and in my area of interference, so to speak. And what we're really looking at when we look through here is what channels all of the different networks around us are on and how many networks within a specific channel are actually making use of it. And what I mean by that is a lot of things will barely, barely, barely sit on a channel within the area where you are. It may be, you know, that they're all the way on the other side of the house that faces the other street or something along those lines and where you have your Wi-Fi router set up and where you're primarily using things, they're really not interfering with. That's great, don't worry about them. But the guys with stronger signals, right, like these, these are the ones that are really going to go ahead and, and I mean, kind of almost fight with you, so to speak, uh, if you're both trying to download something at the same time for who's going to get kind of those packets first, uh, because you're both on the same channel and you're both sending things at the same exact time and there's only that many packets that could be transferred, so to speak. Uh, so this is really what we're looking at here. So I have a lot of kind of congested different channels. Um, primarily, people tend to stick within the channels that people are usually recommend to them. Uh, 1, 6, 11, as you can see here, are pretty much the ones that are jam-packed. So to run a little experiment, I'm on channel 11 right now. And what we're going to go ahead and do, load up speed test and run a quick little speed test to see how things look. So the final numbers at the end, 4.5 is basically our download and 5.3 is our upload, which is uh, pretty crappy, pretty crappy, but let's not start blaming Optimum just yet. We set this thing to channel 11, which is a, well, fairly congested channel in my area and with the networks around us. So if I go ahead and take a look through my different list, channel 11 is definitely out of the question. And channel 9 is going to get a lot of the interference from channel 11 anyway, so let's try to go to the other end of the spectrum, where channel 1 has a couple of different optimum Wi-Fi networks and personal routers that are sitting on it, which will overlap over to channel 2, but we're kind of free in the area of channel 3. So I'm going to go ahead and run over, switch over, sorry, to channel 3, and we'll go ahead and save this I have to retype in my password so you guys can't see that uh, boom magic but now as you guys can see our network once I find it over in this drop down here um, that's my other router with that's at channel 6 on the other side of the house and now over here we are on channel 3 and we have a nice strong signal hitting us off on channel 3 now um, 
I do have to reconnect uh, to the internet here because it dropped that connection. So we're going to do that briefly and then we're going to go ahead and pull up another speed test and uh, see if things changed. And final verdict gives us 9.3 roughly on our download and 5.32 on our upload. Now, I didn't really expect a lot on the upload in the first place, but that is quite a good jump on our download speed. And that's all there is to it, guys. So if you're experiencing really slow download speeds, frequent timeouts, just constant ongoing issues where your wireless speeds just suck, give this a go. Try to go ahead and change the channel. And any questions, any issues, leave them down in the comments below. I'm always happy to try to help out the best way that I could. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Like it. Share it with your friends. They're watching the old video. They'll do much better watching this video. See you guys soon.